Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TVKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Um, good question. And uh, as more as, as y'all see more of these videos that come out, some of them are older, but uh, I thank y'all for checking in. And uh, I'm catching up and trying to get back to life. Hopefully all this stuff be over with real soon. Um, someone asked what, really what was the best, I mean, what is the biggest issue in the American bully community as I've seen it, as I see it from where we started? Honestly, it's the characters in, in the American bully world. I could break down the nuances of the dogs and that would be one thing. We could break down where the dogs went wrong, which we will do, as y'all know, we always do on this page. But the reality is, is the biggest problem in the American bully world is really just the characters. You have so many people. I've seen a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? And uh, the truth of the matter is, is that you get people who are pushing for themselves. They, they want pats on the back. Uh, as soon as they come in, they get to talking about my program and I'm this and I'm that. And this is the, the, I mean, this is the reality. When I came into this thing, you had to sort of earn your stripes, you know what I mean? And it, and it wasn't a thing of uh, who's gonna make the most money. We were just trying to make the best dogs. Like it was an honor to fly to somebody else's yard or check out whatever they had to see if they got some bomb ass dogs and sit down do the barbecue thing or go out to eat and watch you know watch how the dog thing goes down and nowadays we just don't do that it's it's not any friendships anymore in the game it's everybody who comes in is very very cutthroat trust me i've taken people under my wing and it was little brother little sister showed them love in many different ways and those are the most scandalous cutthroat people ever because they're not coming to breeders, per se, to, uh, you know what I'm saying, to learn from you and to see, you know, what did you do to make this dog? How did you go about making, you know, your best dog? What do you think about these bloods? And that's the way we used to do. Now it's more so, let me see whatever I can get out of you. Then it'll be like shit talking behind your back, trying to gain clout to act like they have some kind of beef with you. And they'll stab you in your back or do whatever they can. You know what I'm saying? To sort of tear you down in this game, you know? and try to get themselves ahead. Next thing you know, you'll look on social media and they're talking about themselves like they're some type of big time breeder. And they're really shit breeders that have shit dogs and don't have shit to show for it. And those people are promoting themselves and selling off their shitty dogs and, you know, trying to act as if they're some type of big OG in the, in the dog world. It's just more spreading of shit, you know? And the more you have this competitive nature and this cutthroat nature, the quality of the dogs fall. One of the reasons is because these people are so desperate to get their hands on anything. They'll breed subpar dogs. You know what I mean? They'll do anything to get a litter on the ground and push them out. You go in, you look at their pictures and, their, and shit, and their dogs are in bad shape. They don't look good at all. The dogs are sort of beat up. You know, and, and, and I would say more so pet quality type dogs. But what do they do? They'll pump that shit, they'll pump that shit, and they'll sell it off to somebody who's unknowing just to get a quick buck, buck off of it and deliver, you know, uh, breeding uh, capabilities, not even making the dogs get to the point where they have to be fixed. This is a part of the thing where it just kills the community. Then you have the others, and that's on the other side, that they'll do anything for the clout, so they're willing to mix anything into their dogs, switch this dog's paperwork around, switch that, you know, and this is where we've gotten, I don't think anybody has, in this game has ever intentionally, without the, well, I won't say anybody, but without the uh, lure of, I'm going to get rich today, I don't think many people have done that, wanting to uh, just do it, to have a dog. It's more about cloud, it's more about likes, it's more about how much can I still sell my stud fee for. It's more about them. And uh, sadly enough, as we look at the American bully community and we look at the people involved in the American bully community, the American bully community has turned into a situation where it's more about the individuals and less about the dogs. You know, throughout my tenure as an American bully person, some of the dogs that I didn't push the most are still the dogs that are asked about the most to this day. You know, uh, one of those dogs in particular is like Castro. Castro, 
you know, it was a very high quality dog. To this day, the dog that I would probably say out of all my dogs was the best uh, confirmation dog that I've ever had. He built his reputation on his own. I showed him he won basically three championships. I turned down the championship from the ABKC, even though he had qualified for it. I've never, you know, but he won three championships. He dominated the classic class, uh, first classic champion in the UBKC and the B, uh, BBCR. I mean, just he was just a phenomenal animal all the way together. And it was just about breeding purposes. He had brothers that were just as nice as him. Most people don't know that, but they were pets. The same thing like when I made Denzel, it wasn't about, it was about making a quality dog. I wasn't totally pleased with Denzel. As, as many people know, I didn't like his feet. They were too big for me. I wanted him to be bigger like his mother. So, you know, you chase that, you know. Uh, in that process, you make a dog like Mandela. And I'm just bringing up a few of my dogs that people know and that they like because the process was about the dogs. Like, even if you didn't know me, a lot of people, it, I still like it when people don't know who I am. But they be like, hey, I got your dog in my pedigree. Because that was the essence of what we did as breeders. Um, the new generation is more about me, me, me. I'm the face. I'm this, I'm that, and I'm this. Oh, look at me. I. This is why I do, the, you know. <laughs> all that dumb shit. And they don't have dogs to show for it. And, and our generation was just all about the dogs. It wasn't a clout chase. It wasn't people. Uh, everybody has a podcast. Everybody's, you know, talking out the side of their ass, giving bad advice. It was very, very scientific. And part of that science was going to different people's yards and really just finding out, you know, how you made these dogs. This is why to this day, so many of us know each other like the old school breeders. We know each other well and we still talk and we still visit each other because we establish relationships in our process of exchanging notes on certain dogs and what click. It's, um, how do I put it? It's really a sad thing that we've come to the point now that the, the even the basic health knowledge of dogs is gone. You know, the, the more intricate knowledge of us being good breeders and knowing how to breed, that's definitely gone. Like, you can't ask people to truly break down pedigrees anymore because most of these breeders are just so far off base that they don't even... They don't value their blood. They don't do, <sighs> man, it, it's, it's horrible. And so with the process going like that, you know, the dogs have really, really went downhill. And I think once we get back to the point that we're all about really, really making the proper dogs and making something that the breed can go forward uh, with and being a lot more strict, you know, and that's what the next video is about. Things will be a lot better, you know, but the breed has to get more strict. It has to become more about the dogs and the breeders and handlers. They need to take a step backwards because it's weird in this thing to where you've got legendary people in our game who don't even really have legendary dogs, you know? But until next time, y'all, God bless y'all. Much love. Peace.